Being a registered nurse is a defining characteristic of my life. It is a privilege to be an individual that other human beings entrust with their greatest personal needs and their most precious loved ones. It is always a challenge and it is a grave responsibility. Registered nurses are educated, skilled professionals. Today we will hear from the credible voices from the front line of delivery of health care, the bedside. I am also a legislator, and today with my legislative colleagues, we will share with you what the registered nurses who actually do the work are saying about the issue of patient safety. In every instance of my legislative career, the educated, skilled professional of any occupation who is actually doing the work is the most reliable source of information. It is never more so true than today. Illness and injury happens to all human beings. Every one of us has been a patient, or we will be a patient. There is so much that cannot be controlled in what the human body experiences from moment to moment when it is ravaged by disease, traumatized by injury, exhausted by age. But patient safety can be controlled. The voices of the nurses of the Commonwealth tell us that patient safety, this controllable issue, by providing limits on the number of patients for which the nurse can safely care for, is in fact in our Commonwealth today not controlled. It is erratic, it's unpredictable, and it is subject to many pressures in the healthcare system, most not even related to the actual patient and their needs. Today we are releasing a recently completed survey of frontline bedside registered nurses showing that patient care continues to deteriorate and nurses continue to be forced to care for too many patients at one time. Registered nurses, RNs, identify various complications, preventable medical errors, readmissions, harm, and heartbreakingly to me, even patient deaths as a result of high patient loads. The survey of, bed of bedside registered nurses in Massachusetts was completed by Anderson Robbins, an independent research forum located in Boston. The nurses interviewed were randomly selected from a file of all Massachusetts RNs licensed with the Board of Registration and Nursing. Survey respondents were interviewed at home in the week of May 8th to May 15th. This dispels the myth that patient safety is only a union nurse issue. The data represents what registered nurses in Massachusetts are experiencing as a result of excessive patient assignments for nurses in our hospitals. And I want to underscore that those surveyed, again, represent both union and non-union nurses and nurses working in community hospitals as well as nurses in teaching hospitals. And according to this survey, nearly eight in 10 registered nurses report that the quality of patient care in Massachusetts hospitals is deteriorating. And by more than a two to one margin, a two to one margin, RNs report that unsafe patient assignments have become worse in recent years with devastating results for their patients. Let me give you the most alarming statistic in the survey. Nearly one in four Massachusetts nurses surveyed report that they are aware of patients who have died because nurses had too many patients to care for. One in four Massachusetts nurses who were surveyed I can't even imagine the silence on the phone line when that question was asked and the nurse needed to respond to that question in truth. I can't imagine the silence and the pain that occurred at that moment in that survey. Coincidentally, the release of these findings has brought into tragic focus with the recent release of a report by DPH. So we have the survey and at the same time DPH is coming out with a report that has linked inadequate nursing care and unsafe patient assignments for nurses as a contributing factor in the death of two infants and one mother at a hospital in Western Massachusetts. Here are some of the disturbing findings from the survey in general. 46% of the nurses report injury and harm to patients due to unsafe patient assignments. 51%, more than half the nurses, report longer hospital stays for patients. 56% report readmission of patients because they had unsafe patient assignments. 57% of the nurses report medication errors 
57% of the nurses due to unsafe patient assignments, 59% of the nurses report complications for patients, 68% of the nurses report that they don't have time to educate and provide adequate discharge planning due to unsafe patient assignments. We cannot even begin to measure the pain and suffering of patients inadequately prepared to care for themselves at home and the amount of confusion and chaos for the family if the patient is even lucky enough not to be alone. And 82% of the nurses, 82% of the nurses, eight out of 10 nurses, report that they don't have time to properly comfort and care for patients and families. This is the very foundation of nursing, the essence of nursing. Not only are we in a position where we feel our patients are unsafe, we can't even begin to give them the care that we know they need and deserve. And there are no standards, there are no standards for safe maximum patient limits for nurses. This is the reason, all of those statistics, the reason is there's no standards for safe maximum patient limits. Massachusetts, and we are so very proud of our health care, and we have reason to be, but not everything is perfect. Massachusetts ranks 42nd worst, 42nd worst in the nation for avoidable hospital readmissions. And according to the recent report by the state's Health Policy Commission, these preventable readmissions have wasted more than 700 million of our health care dollars every single year. This survey also highlights the underlying causes of these dangerous conditions and the industry's lack of effort to adjust nurses' patients' assignments to ensure patient safety. For example, by a two to one margin, 48% to 23%, nurses report staffing level decisions are more often based on financial concerns than the assessments of the patients. 40% of the nurses in teaching hospitals and 53% of those working in community hospitals report that their administrators are not responsive to their concerns about excessive patient reassignments. You know, this makes sense to me because if you don't have enough nurses there, there's no way you can respond anyways. So the nurses are crying out for help, but there's no help coming. And only 30% of the nurses report that their administrators consistently adjust their patient assignments based on the needs of their patients. One out of three nurses says the administrator can hear me and can readjust. Two out of three nurses say, no, they can't. They don't hear me at all. They don't readjust. This dispels the myth that is saturating this state house that administrators need flexibility, that they can move nurses where they are needed, and fails to address the real principle that to move a nurse where they need it means you take the nurse from where she is and you move her someplace else. You take her from a patient to give her to a patient. In my time, that was called a MASH mentality. And, and that's just, I, I've looked for a more elegant word. A MASH mentality in healthcare in Massachusetts today is stupid. Healthcare has been a major focus of the work and pride of this legis legislature for this decade. But to provide health care is a three-pronged stool. Yes, we need access. Well done. Yes, cost containment. Hard work underway. Yes, and it should be a resounding yes to safe patient quality care. That's what it's all supposed to be about. That's why you want access. That's why you want to contain costs is so that you can give safe quality patient care. But we haven't finished that work yet. Pending legislation has the ability to address the critical patient safety care crisis. It's called House Bill 1008, the Patient Safety Act. This would, excuse me, this would protect all hospital patients by establishing those safe maximum limits on nurse patient assignments and can still, in that very carefully deliberated language, provide the flexibility to adjust on staffing needs, provided you have enough nurses in the facility to do that. Some will say that these issues should be decided at the bargaining table. So, let's look at the survey, the non-union hospitals, right? Who's gonna speak for those patients? And if we want that patient to ask that question in the ambulance, what kind of hospital are you taking me to? A similar ballot question, H3843, is also pending before the legislature. Some say, let it go to the ballot. This is the ballot question, let it go. Well, it'll go if it must. It will go if it must. But as a legislator, I tell you sincerely, I would prefer to see this issue carefully deliberated and skillfully negotiated. I am a proud sponsor, co-sponsor of this legislature, 
And it's not a surprise, it's not a surprise that in this survey, in this room, in the supermarket, and on the soccer fields, nine out of 10 nurses support safe staffing. If we listen to the registered nurses of this common life wealth, like we listen to every other educated, skilled professional, and what they are saying, we will hear the sounds of the patients who are suffering needless complications, medical errors, readmissions, and we will hear the silence of those who can no longer speak. This is unacceptable. Erratic staffing decisions lead to medical errors, complications, readmissions, and death. Patients in Boston and the Berkshires, teaching hospitals and community hospitals, union and non-union facilities need and deserve quality care. All of the work in the legislature in this decade on access and cost containment fails if patients do not receive safe quality care. The time to act is now. This issue of safe patient staffing by registered nurses in this decade has moved from imperative to critical, and now it's a crisis. Thank you. Thank you. I think it is fair to say that I speak on behalf of all the legislators and on Rep. Nick Collins, who has joined us, who represents South Boston, from all of us, that you need not stand for us. We stand for you, and we stand with you.